Chapter 18, Aqueous Ionic Equilibrium. So here's a, a quote from Otto Witt. In the strictly scientific sense of the word, insolubility does not exist. And even those substances characterized by the most obstinate resistance to the solvent action of water may be properly designated as extraordinarily difficult of solution, not as insoluble. So the first section here is titled The Danger of Antifreeze. And you probably all know that you shouldn't drink antifreeze, right? Um, but you also shouldn't be dumping it in the street because, um, you know, in the gutter, because animals will drink it because it has a sweet taste. It's got ethylene glycol in it. Um, and that's, uh, it's very toxic. So the first symptoms resemble drunkenness because ethylene glycol is an alcohol, but then it gets metabolized to glycolic acid, which affects the acidity of the blood. Blood pH is really important. Um, a lot of proteins only function within a very narrow pH range. And so in humans, um, to stay alive, you need your blood to be between 7.36 and 7.42 in pH. So how does our body maintain our blood pH? It does so by the use of buffers. So a buffer is a chemical system that will resist pH changes. You add an acid, it will resist a pH change. If you add a base, it will resist a pH change. Important buffer in blood is um, the carbonic acid bicarbonate buffer system. So here, carbonic acid can neutralize hydroxide base, forming water and hydrogen carbonate ion. But if we add acid to the blood, the hydrogen carbonate ion can combine with that to form carbonic acid. And so we've got both of those things present. And so whatever you add, an acid or a base, there's something there that can mitigate its effects. But if there's enough glycolic acid in the blood, it overwhelms the capacity of the buffer. The buffer can only do so much. And then it can cause the pH to drop to dangerous levels. So low blood pH uh, is, is known as acidosis, and it affects the equilibrium between hemoglobin and oxygen. Hemoglobin is what um, carries oxygen in your blood to the different parts of your body. So hemoglobin will bind with oxygen, and then in, um, forming this, the complex here, and excess H+. Plus. So H plus is on this side. So if there's too much acid in your blood, that's going to push this equilibrium to the left, and the hemoglobin is not going to carry the oxygen like it should. So that can cause hyperventilation, coma, even death. Interestingly, a, a treatment for ethylene glycol poisoning is the administration of ethanol. Like vodka or beer or something, ethanol, because your body metabolizes ethanol before it will metabolize the ethylene glycol. So you can keep your body busy with the ethanol um, and, and avoid death, I guess. should not feed it ethylene glycol. Right. Yeah. But, you know, if you have if you have a pet that does get into some antifreeze, yeah, it get beer is probably not as effective as like, you know, whiskey or vodka or something a little stronger. Yeah. All hypothetical, of course. 